Hello, I'm Christian Fraser, and this is The Context. What has been considered from Downing Street is a request that various government departments around here look into eight different potential policy switches related to the environment. I would say, and it's very hard to measure this, but I would say there are more people in the parliamentary party, and it's probably true of members as well, who are... Con the United States has treated this crisis as an existential threat from the moment we took office. Not only for us, but for all of humanity. Is Rishi Sunak walking back some of his major green commitments? Speculation tonight, the Prime Minister will delay the ban on the sales of new petrol and diesel cars and the phase-out of gas boilers. And all this on the day the UN warns world leaders are failing abysmally on their net zero targets. Also tonight, doctors in England staged the biggest walkout so far in the dispute over pay, but could the government force them back to work? And in Paris, Sakia Starmer presents Emmanuel Macron with an Arsenal shirt. But what would he want in return if he does become the Prime Minister? Very good evening. The BBC has learned that the Prime Minister is considering weakening some of the government's key green commitments and will argue that the UK has over-delivered on confronting climate change and that other countries need to pull their weight. Among a number of core policy changes, Rishi Sunak is considering pushing back the ban on the sale of new petrol and diesel cars from 2030 to 2035 and the phasing out of all gas boilers by 2035 would be weakened too. Instead, the government would only require 80% to be phased out by then. Homeowners and landlords would be told that there will be no new energy efficiency regulations on homes. The Prime Minister is considering announcing these and other changes later this week. This was the Green MP.